Welcome back! And, whoa, you don't say! This place is huge! Oh, I already talked to this guy, didn't I? Oh, so that means there are only three contest uh, stages instead of five, so there are two types that we haven't seen yet. Oh, and this is the Pokemon reception counter. So I guess, yeah, she's gonna give me a Pokeblock case. I was wondering if she was gonna refer me to the woman that was right next to her, which would have been completely stupid. So yeah, now I have the Pokeblock case so I can take part in the contest, but most importantly, the Safari Zone! And I'm just going to check out um, what they have to say involving contests, even though I already mentioned just about everything that you need to know in order to be successful. So yeah, primary judging is a popularity poll. What they don't tell you though is that it relies on the contest stats, and secondary judging uses the moves, so it requires some strategy instead of just grinding a contest stat. And uh, that's about it, and the scores are added at the end, and the winner is the one with the highest score! Well, duh! And there are five types of contests, as I said, and you should usually match your moves compared to the contest that you plan to enter your Pokémon on. And there are also four ranks, that was something I haven't mentioned in the last video, and uh, those are the four ranks. And if you beat the normal rank in a given contest type, you can enter the super rank, and so on and so forth. But if you, but if you win the normal beauty contest, then you can't go into a cool uh, super contest, super rank contest, not super contest. Those are in Sinnoh, but you get the idea. And yeah, there's one more thing I haven't shown you yet in the contest hall, and it's the berry blending machine. I'm still in the process of growing those wiki berries, but once that's done, I'm going to show you how to blend berries. And okay, this is the link reception counter, so if you want to enter contests with friends, that is where you need to go instead of entering contests against the AI, for example. And those are the berry blending machines. I strongly suggest using the one that's uh, at the bottom left since there are more people to help you blend the berries and they usually give you better poke blocks too but i'm going to show you all this in detail once i get that feebass with hypnosis and i'm ready to evolve it now that's one last thing i wanted to tell you about contests is that the, the pokemon's nature will make a difference in how easy to raise certain stats will be for example if you got a nature that boosts special attack uh, beauty will be easier to raise, but if it drops attack, for example, then the cool stat will be harder to raise. So each stat has a link to a contest stat, depending on the nature. So cool is for attack, tough is for defense, beauty is for special attack, uh, smart is for special defense, and cute is for speed, as I'm looking at those other paintings of Pokemon that have won the previous contests, and this is just an outline of a Zangoose for some reason. I have no idea why it's not any better than that, and that that was a high score thing, and just links link contest results. I'm gonna pass, and with this, we're finally, finally done with the contest haul! For now, anyway. So I guess now the, the department store is the last thing left to visit in this city, but for to, to enter there I need to beat May. So... Oh no, there's something else left, and it's the Lily Cove Museum! How did I forget about that? <coughs> Sorry, for, for such an imposing looking building, it really doesn't do much of anything. I think if you do good enough at contests, you can have paintings of your own Pokémon on display here, but I never really bothered with contests enough to do that. So I guess while we're here, we might as well check out those uh, pixelated piece of beauty. Painting of the beautiful smiling woman with a Pokémon on her lap, and <laughs> this lady is pretty, she's like mommy? Wow, that is so wrong. Anyway, that left painting here, the painting, if I look close enough, it looks sort of like a Pikachu. Well, aren't you surprised at, at this over-marketed piece of crap finding its way everywhere in the series? No, no wonder. And there are a few sculptures here on top of the paintings, and uh, I can't 
can't really make out anything. Our love for the fine arts. I'm not much of an arts person myself. Not in dense text and the small characters of an ancient, unreadable language. Let me guess. Unknowns. The ever unreadable unknowns. Come on, those are easy as hell to read. And I'm I'm not saying those are definitely unknowns, but an ancient, unreadable language in the Pokemon world? It's gotta be unknowns! Ancient bird Pokemon. I wonder which one it is. Might be Articuno, but Articuno doesn't exactly look like that. Okay, the curator... And what does he want? Have you viewed our collection of paintings? Nope, not quite yet. So I guess I'm just going to check out the others since, well, it can't hurt to do so. Legendary Pokemon from long ago. The artist painted this from imagination. So is this a legend, a real legendary Pokemon or something that the artist invented? It's a very old painting and it sort of looks like a grenade or a bomb. Am I the only one who's seeing this? And oh, it's a delicious looking painting of berries. This painting could make you hungry. And this one is... Oh, abstract paintings. The best kind. Yeah, as you can tell, I hate abstract painting because anyone can just put a bunch of paint on something and call it abstract art. This is bullshit. Art has to represent something, not you know, something completely random, you know, with smears of paint everywhere. And this is the top floor, the special exhibit hall, where there's absolutely nothing! Thank you, Captain Obvious! I, I think that's where contest winners will be uh, displayed, but as I said, I wouldn't know because I've never really bothered with contests enough to... I, I don't even know what, what the requirements are to get your Pokemon on exhibit here. So if anyone knows, please leave me a message in the comments and I'll and I'll gladly point it out in a future video. Maybe not the next one, but at some point in the future, I promise, I'll come back to this if someone actually knows the answer. And come on, you're not monopolizing the, the conversation. I'm controlling a mute character. So it's basically like talking to yourself, so you don't have to apologize for that. And, okay, this is where I get the assignment uh, of, you know, getting contest winners on here. He doesn't tell you that I need to show him contest winners, but I just told you this is related to contests. This is the world capital of contests, after all. Well, you might mention uh, Hard Home, but contests in Sinnoh suck compared to the contest in Hoenn, which aren't even that good to begin with. So that concludes the second to last place to explore in Lily Cove, and the only thing left to do is to try and get May to stop blocking the department store. So, um, I said I was going to explore the whole city today, but I'm not going to do that. I've been recording the equivalent of half an hour worth of gameplay so far, so I'm going to stop here for now, and I'm going to keep the battle and the department store. So, next time, the fifth and final battle with May. Won't be beaten by your Pokémon? What happened all those other times then?